Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Back in April of this year, I posted a video asking the question, is Microsoft sabotaging Classic Outlook for the new Outlook for Windows? And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked if you'd like some more info, after nearly a year, Microsoft had finally acknowledged a high CPU usage issue in Classic Outlook. Now, it seems that this may be the case once again regarding sabotaging Classic Outlook because Microsoft has now confirmed a new bug in Classic Outlook that the app, the Classic Outlook app, won't open and is displaying an error message in some cases. And if we head over to an image of that error message provided from the announcement, this is the error that is appearing. Cannot start Microsoft Outlook. Cannot open the Outlook window. The set of folders cannot be opened. The attempt to log on to Microsoft Exchange has failed. And Microsoft says, and I'm quoting, this error message can occur for different reasons. Not every instance of this error is the same issue, but recent support cases around this have been for user mailboxes. With Microsoft saying that the status is it's currently investigating and the only way to address this issue is to open a support case from the Microsoft 365 admin portal. So basically Microsoft is saying they cannot fix this problem at this stage. And the workaround, and you guessed it, that's why I'm asking the question once again, is Microsoft sabotaging the classic Outlook app in favor of the new Outlook for Windows? Because Microsoft says, to work around this issue, you need to use the Outlook Web Access, OWA for short, so that's the Outlook app online, or, you guessed it, the new Outlook for Windows. So that's why I'm asking the question again in this video. So basically, is Microsoft purposefully bringing issues into Classic to get more users to move over to the new Outlook for Windows, which is an app, as I've mentioned numerous times on this channel, you either like or you don't. Let me know your thoughts down below. And obviously, if I get any more info regarding this issue, I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.